Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. This video is inspired by Charlie, who five months ago asked, is it possible to install and use Wine successfully on Ubuntu? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and hopefully run Wine on, not Wine, iTunes on Debian. So first thing we need to do is we need to download iTunes from the Apple website. In my case, I've already downloaded and installed iTunes 12.10.11 for Windows 10, or for, Win for Windows. Uh, as we can see here, this was last updated back in December of 2020, so talking two years ago. And here we have our iTunes 64-bit setup. Now, we are going to need a requisite for this, and that requisite is going to be one. The first thing we need to do is just going to do a quick... Clear, a quick neo fetch, and we're just going to do a wine version, which should output a correct once I do it correctly. Winehoven version of wine 7.0.1, which is the most up to date stable version of wine available for Debian, which is the uh, operating system that I'm using. So, we can get that close, we can have that minimized down. And as we can see here, if we try and open it, it just wants to open up the archive and then all of this, but that's not what we want. What we want is we want to do right click, open with Wine Windows Program Loader. And what this is going to do is, once I drag this across, here we go. Welcome to iTunes, the easiest way to enjoy your favorite music and movies, TV shows and more on your PC. So we want to go through the setup process. Yes, I would like to use English United States in the default location. Click install, auto run is turned off. iTunes won't be able to recognize when a CD is inserted. Yes, I will turn auto run on for me. This is gonna go through the process of downloading and installing the various files and the whatnot from uh, the iTunes, from iTunes and just going through. As we can see, this has so far said it's been set up correctly. So what we want to do is I want to grab iTunes. See here we have the Whirly. We have the agreement, which somewhere in here says cannot use uh, this product to make or manufacture any weapons of mass destruction, aka nuclear, chemical, or biological. That is in the Apple agreement. You will find it there. That is rather funny. And as we can see here, um, iTunes. This is the latest version of iTunes, as we can see here. As I click agree, we do have iTunes. It's just not iTunes, as it were. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a device into this. That is a iOS device. Just going to plug the phone in. And as I see on the phone, I do trust this computer. Uh, it's not yet trusted. Try again. Hit the passcode in. And as we can see here, uh, we just want to do cancel for this. Try this again. This should send the... It should send the challenge of do you trust this device? Sometimes even with uh, using an Apple device and two Apple devices together, getting them to trust each other can be a bit of an issue. I click cancel for that one. Uh, we've not provided any service files. Again, this is a apples to apple, quite literally apples to apple issue. Um, just do nothing. Click OK. Not provided. So this is just a apple, quite literally an apples to apple issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to launch iTunes again. Just do. Let it catch up. As we can see here, this does recognize the phone and recognize iTunes. iTunes has opened up. Here we go. iTunes detected that this is not the default player. Would like the default player? No. Click library. And what we're going to do, we're just going to do unplug the Apple device. Plug the Apple device in. And as we can see, this has not issued the challenge. Well, this, uh, it's not issued the challenge to the mobile device. But what is going here is 
installing items does work and you can uh, synchronize items up and you can get access to the phone however because of a handoff with a device it does not want to work so it is not possible to install itunes and get it working with a device in particular so we can see as we can see here i am plugged into the device and the explorer in the background just decided to go nope plug the device in and we can see could not display as in there was not there was no service files provided and if i check to see on the device itself it has not issued the challenge command going do you trust this device which i did select yes so what this is proving is this does not work in any mean, in a meaningful way even with the inability to see anything at all because we have our increased decrease volume we've got all of this jazz but all of this we can just add a remove but if i do devices there's currently nothing here remove insert it goes cannot drag it up which was expected so this does not well, installing itunes does not work in a meaningful way at all so i would like to thank you very much for watching this video i would like to thank charlie from five months ago for asking this question i'd like to thank you very much for watching if you didn't make it this far i'd like to thank you very much for uh thank you very much for making it this far and maybe consider subscribing anyway i have been nick you have been amazing and i hope you have the rest of your day Bye.